Uh, and what happens is we will do big hiring and you'll see a big hiring bubble. And then if you look out 25 years, you'll see a retirement bubble. Um, and then a lot of times somewhere in between for various reasons, we don't hire for a, a, a number of years um, or we lose positions and then we get positions back, something like that. Um, so we're kind of playing like a constant catch up and that's where we are right now. Um, we are facing some retirement bubbles that don't have um, hiring bubbles behind them. And so our staffing is going to continue to go down until we reach um, what I anticipate to be um, around the first couple of months of next year will probably be the lowest. And then we're gonna start to see us pull back out of that because we are doing a lot of recruiting. Our personnel division is doing a fantastic job recruiting as, as best they can. They're holding a lot of events. Um, you know, there's a monthly um, uh, recruiting um, opportunity where our training division go, or where our personnel division goes out to the training division, and anybody who's interested in being a police officer can come. They'll show you like what it means to apply. You can go through our physical agility test. Um, so we're we're trying to do that as much as possible. And I would like to just take this moment to really enforce that you don't have to have a degree in criminal justice to be a police officer. I don't have one. There's a lot of people in the bureau that don't have one. What we're looking for is a caliber of person and um, just having a criminal justice degree, um, while we have a lot of people who do and they're fantastic, it's not required. And I think some people uh, maybe shy away from thinking about applying because they think it's that's necessary. Mm -hmm.